Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to talk about uh, the events of what we call Palm Sunday. That is the day when Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem. Uh, let's read from the Bible and see what it says. It says, When they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus said, sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them. And immediately he will, he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Let's just talk about the first part. When Jesus was coming toward Jerusalem, you know, Jerusalem is mounted uh, up on top or located on top of Mount Zion. It's a higher elevation than all the area around it. And there is a kind of a valley between. And then there's the Mount of Olives, which is east of uh, Jerusalem and, and uh, also of the Temple Mount. And uh, when they were coming to that place, up to the top of the Mount of Olives, what would happen there is you would be looking across this valley to the city of Jerusalem. And it was time for them to prepare for the Passover. And so Jesus sent his disciples to go get a donkey and a colt and bring them uh, to him because he wanted to ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. And uh, the purpose of that was that he would fulfill scripture, the prophecy of Zechariah, which said, your king is coming to you lowly and sitting on a donkey. When it says lowly, most of the time, if a king were coming into a city, to attack it, he would ride on a war horse. If he was coming in peace, he would ride on a donkey. And uh, so Jesus was riding on a donkey when he came into Jerusalem. And as he was coming, it says, So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes on them, and set Jesus on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road, Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so uh, Jesus came into the city in a humble manner, riding on a donkey. And as he was coming, they were putting clothes on the road and they were cutting down branches, putting them on the road, and some were waving branches, palm branches, as he was coming into the city of Jerusalem. What Jesus was seeing was the week ahead of him, the week in which he would be betrayed, arrested, tortured, crucified, and die for your sins and for me. So when we talk about this week, when Jesus comes into Jerusalem to give his life for you and for me, it's important to remember, he came to deliver you and me from our sin, not to come and to uh, win a battle over the Romans or some other thing, but he came to deliver us from our sin. So as you approach this, we call Easter time, I like to call it Resurrection Day, but that time of remembering Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, then it's important for you and I to remember that that's the reason he came, was to give his life to save us from our sin and so that we might have eternal life. God bless you.